Hi there. My name's Alison Morrell. I'm the course lead for Creative Arts at Hugh Baird College. Um, now, currently, we run two creative media production and technology courses at level two and level three. OK, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the level two programme. It's a one year course. OK, it's a broad based course. Once achieved, it's equivalent to four GCSEs. The course allows the student to develop an understanding and be able to demonstrate skills and methods that are used within the media industry. The course encourages you to use technical processes to communicate your own ideas through film, audio, interactive, animation, photography and graphic design. OK, the course develops an understanding of an audience and how your ideas are received. Storyboarding and pitching to a client is also covered, as is the development of the roles and opportunities within the creative media sector. From this course, you can then go on to our level three creative media course, or you can move into another sort of range of other creative industries, such as graphic design, 3D design, fashion, advertising. Now, to obtain a place on the course, you need to be self-motivated. That's really, really important, self-motivation. And you need four GCSEs, grade two and above. The second course, OK, that I'm going to talk about is our level three programme. It's a two year course. It's equivalent to three A levels and the associated UCAS points for uni, OK, for university. And the course is to de designed to provide you with the knowledge and skills and understanding necessary to access and progress to degree level study or employment in the media sector. In the first year, students experience a broad range okay, of diagnostic induction to creative media production and technology. So it's, you experience a broad range of skills. OK, your creative ideas are really important to us. And your creative ideas are developed through experiencing filmmaking, photography, graphic design, interaction and animation. From this exploratory experience, students, you will then select one area OK, to specialise in. The area that you choose will be the area that most inspires you. OK. And then the second year, in the second year, once you've decided what area you're going to specialise in, the second year gives you the opportunity to focus and, uh, and focus on this and in-depth development of that specific area of creative media. These skills are then refined and then the students then demonstrate their skills through a self-initiated project in preparation for HE or employment. OK, now we're going to watch a short video. Reach your goals by doing something you love. Service. Up your game and prove the doubt is wrong. Believe in yourself and achieve Self your potential. The career you want is waiting for you. The opportunities are here. The expertise are here. The support is here. The inspiration is here. Exits are located at the rear of the cabin and at the front of the cabin. Grow. Thrive. Innovate. Succeed. Wherever you want your story to take you. It starts at Hugh Baird College. Hi, uh, I'm Del Pike. Um, I run the Moving Image Production course over at the L20 University Centre. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Um, just want to give you a little overview of what we do, to be honest. Um, we're situated in a separate campus uh, over the road uh, from the Balliol, where um, Alison's just been chatting about where they do the level twos, level threes. Um, and basically what we do is we are a university centre and we deliver university courses um, from UCLAN, which is the University of Central Lancashire. Uh, so basically, you're doing a degree course, um, just like the one that you'd get from uh, Preston, from, from UCLAN, uh, but on home turf. 
so you don't have to travel, you know, uh, if you're local to Bootle, if you're local to Liverpool. It's a really good opportunity to just sort of, you know, get yourself a degree on uh, on home ground, really. Um, the course is very, very much um, about moving image, as the, as the title suggests, but it's kind of 50-50. So um, whilst you're doing a lot of video production, uh, making things like documentaries, uh, short narrative films, um, promo films for companies, which is actually really good because you can go out and get your own client um, and uh, make a video for them, which they can then use. So you get to see your work out there. Um, but as well as doing all that, we also have an academic side as well, um, which is things like film studies, um, looking at the industry, looking at why films uh, and TV are made, uh, and looking at the kind of history and the culture around that as well. Um, other things we do on the course, we teach things like script writing. And we've got a guy called Matt, who's really, really good. He's won awards, he's worked for the BBC, he's made films. Uh, he's a really, really professional uh, and, and uh, experienced uh, screenwriter. So we've got him on board. And we also have uh, Soraya, who teaches sound uh, for the moving image, which is um, mainly, you know, sort of put, 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 putting sounds to images, creating sounds um, through, through found, uh, sources and also creating your own sound so we do an awful lot of um, hands-on stuff but we also learn a lot about the uh, the industry as well and about sort of film studies and television studies and um, the course is two-year foundation degree course so most people uh, do that do the two-year degree course and then they uh, go on hopefully uh, to the BA top-up year which we offer which then turns your foundation degree into a full-blown BA honours degree. Um, once you finish the course, you graduate just like everybody else at UCLan, uh, Upper Preston with the full cap and gown, uh, you get the full experience. Um, but like I say, it's, uh, you know, you're doing it on home, home turf, um, very quiet, uh, really small classes. You know, we, we very rarely go beyond sort of 15 or 16 in a group. And our students really, really like that. Uh, they like the small classes and they like the fact that it's a small campus too. So we are, you know, you, you, it, there's, you haven't got the hustle and bustle of bigger university centres, um, but there's always somewhere where you can uh, find somewhere quiet to study. Uh, and, and, you know, if you're a quieter student or if, you know, if you just if you just want to get on with your work, basically, um, there's such an opportunity to just um, have that, that time and place to do that. Um, despite the lockdown, we are... Um, taking students on at the moment uh, you know the, the application system is open please 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 it's right there uh, hubird.ac.uk slash apply you can apply online uh, and we, we would love you to um, and if you do that we'll interview you and we'll have a chat with you find out what you're into and you can ask us some more questions um, and you know, it, it's a it, 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 it's a really it's a really great course, like I say, for local students. And um, one other thing as well, when you graduate, like I said before, you go up to Preston. But we also have our own graduation ceremony at Bootle Town Hall, which is a really lovely way to end it all. Um, you know, on you know, in your neighbourhood where you studied, uh, it's great. Uh, one last thing before we go to questions, uh, I just like to say, I know a lot of people think, you know, what, what does it lead to? Well, you know, it, the media is an ever-growing industry, uh, particularly now, obviously, with everything being online and, you know, um, stuff like Netflix, you know, are filming in Liverpool all the time. There's new studios opening in the next year or so uh, down at Edge Lane. Uh, the Pine, Pinewood Studios are opening a, um, a big studio up there. There's going to be lots and lots and lots of opportunities in Liverpool um, for moving image production. And also, don't forget, we've got um, Media City in Salford, which is only a train ride away or a short drive away. Uh, again, you know, it's not like the old days we had to go out down to London to work in television and film. Uh, television and film has come to us. And, you know, uh, this is definitely this area, the Northwest is definitely the place to be. Um, at the moment so uh, just bear that in mind and if you want to find out any more about the course or about um you know the media industry in general please do contact me um via the university um uh, my email address is del d-e-l dot pike p-i-k-e at hubird all one word dot ac dot uk um yeah please do email me ask any questions about the course or like I say any any uh, career opportunities please let me know 
Okay, it looks like we're going to open up to some questions. Uh, has anybody got any questions? Yeah, we're doing fine, you know, so any questions? Uh, we're quite uh, able to answer this screen. Sorry, uh, you, what was that, Alison? So I thought I was inviting uh, the viewers who obviously send in their questions, any questions, you know, that we're more than uh, able to answer. Oh, there you go. You've got one there. Okay, I've got one there. Right. Do I have to do English or maths? If you've not achieved your English and maths, then yes, you will have to resit it. All right. When you come to us in the FE department, which is different to obviously the HE, uh, we do what we call a study programme. The study programme compiles of your main course, uh, English and maths, um, uh enrichment and also as well work experience so you'll need to be prepared for if you don't come with your english and maths to then um obviously do that to do that again and reset it okay if i could just add to that for the um for the foundation course we do we, we do like people to have english english definitely is important maths not so important but english definitely um if you haven't got your formal qualifications so if you've just got a level two and you want to come through as a mature student um we do offer access as well which is worth mentioning um which is uh, a course where you get a taster of all the different elements of creative arts including moving image um and after that at the end of that year you, you can you have an opportunity then to choose one of those areas and then you can start your foundation degree from there um i noticed we have got a question there um ben asks will i need to buy my own equipment it's a really good question um the answer is no um we do have cameras we have cameras we have lights we have sound equipments we've got a small studio um, what we would say, though, is if you have got your own camera, um, a, you know, digital camera, um, you know, it helps. It does help. Um, obviously, it means you've got complete access to that camera. You're not having to wait for a, another student to bring it back. Um, and if you've got your own camera, you know, you've got more control. You can practice more. Um, the only equipment we would ask you to buy is an SD card because they do go missing and they do cost us an awful lot of money when they keep go get going missing. So if you've got your own SD card to record your footage onto uh, you'll take more ownership of it and we're only talking about maybe 20 quid or so uh, it's not it's not expensive okay okay so chloe you've asked a question again about the specialism so i'll just go over those again so the specialisms in media that you can focus on a film and tv so you can include fictional um, like short films and music videos and factual uh, films like documentaries there's photography as well, uh, print media. Now, this is things like magazines and posters. And there's also as well graphic design and animation. And then as they go along, they put in other little things as well, a bit about audio, OK? So a broad range there for you to be able to choose from, whereby in your second year, you can, of your level three, you could focus on this. Or if you're doing your level three, your level two, sorry, you will have experience of all those areas to be able to make you understand how the creative industries of media work. Okay, thanks for that question, Clay. That was great. Yep, thanks, Alison. Um, I just noticed there's a question here from Lucy. It's a lovely question. Are, are there any trips uh, and visits that we go on at the un at university level? The answer is yes. Um, we the, the the one visit that we always do in November is to the Aesthetica Film Festival, short film festival, which is in York. And it's a three day uh, trip. We stay over in a hotel um, and it's just brilliant. We get to see, you know, literally hundreds of short films over the space of three days uh, in beautiful surroundings as well. It's great to, to be in York. Um, we did also uh, organize this year a trip to New York um, but unfortunately, before that we were due to go, we were told we couldn't go because of the lockdown. So, um, you know, we were really disappointed about that, but we'll definitely be doing that again and um, try and arrange that hopefully for next year, depending obviously on the uh, situation. Um, and we were also planning on going to the Harry Potter exhibition at Warner Brothers Studios, but again, because of the lockdown, that didn't happen. But in the future, um, definitely, you know, we're looking at doing more and more trips because we believe it's important to do so. So, uh, yeah, Alison, I believe there's a question for you. Yes, this question comes from David, and he asks, how much writing is there in media? Okay, so there is lots of writing in, well, 
When I say there's lots of writing in media, okay, there is some writing in media, depending on what level you do. Obviously, on the level three, it's equivalent to A level, so there is going to be, you know, some writing. It obviously explores your reflections and helps you to understand what you're doing through through um, writing about this. Okay, on the level two, there is still um, uh, there is still writing as well. Again, to explain and to evaluate what you've been doing on the course, this helps you to um, explain to your lecturers that uh, you understand what you're doing and how they can obviously access your thought process as well. So again, it's very, very important to, um, to keep up with the writing and to keep up with the English. You do, however, get lots of support if you struggle with your English and your writing. We have what we call academic support workers within the classroom to help you. Staff are always available, um, even when they're not teaching you, to be able to, you know, um, come in to chat through any written work that you're struggling with to help you structure your written work as well so all around is a win-win situation you get to obviously develop your writing skills and this goes towards your GCSEs as well in terms of experience of writing okay and Dal there's another uh, question for you there thank you very much yeah I've got Andy uh, asking me a uh, very important question. What connections are made with media and film industries? And it's the work experience. So it's like two questions. Um, okay, Andy, we um, we do have a lot of guest speakers in, which is good. This year we had three, I'd say, really important ones. We had a guy called John, John Johnson, who came. He's a professional photographer who's worked extensively um, in film and television and music. Uh, a lot of like on-set photography, that kind of thing. So he came in with a lot of his work uh, and talked about his job. Um, we also had um, Jim Mulhern, who is a sound guy uh, working on films and TV. Um, he's worked with all sorts of people, like, you know, um, the good and the great. Um, he worked with John Hurt on his last film. And then he, he basically, when he came in, uh, got chatting to one of our students, and she ended up working with him for a few days on a Netflix production that he was currently working on and she said that was a fantastic experience uh, and the last one we had in which is really uh, really really good was uh, alex riley who's one of the presenters on the one show he's one of the guys who does like the short the short films on the one show uh, and he, he's got a, a car program on itv4 as well he does all sorts of stuff um and he came in chatted to the students and we were about to do a week-long workshop with him um where students would learn how to be tv presenters um, and we were going to do this whole project, uh, and at the end there would be a finished pro uh, finished product to show. But again, unfortunately, the uh, the lockdown stopped us doing that. But I'm still in talks with him. Spoke to him recently, and he is, you know, hopefully going to come in next year and do that um, with students next year. Um, Alison, you got another question? All right. Yes, Amy asks, how many days a week am I in college for? Okay, so um, you're in college. As I said to you before, you're doing what we call a study programme, which is made up of your main course, English and maths if you need to resit it, okay, and work experience and uh, enrichment, okay. Basically, all of that is three days a week, okay. Extra to that, though, is actually your work experience and your enrichment, which, we'll, which we discuss with you on a one-to-one -one basis because it's very much tailored to you. So at most you can be in definitely three days a week. However, if you're not doing your English or your maths, you might only be in for two days, two and a half days a week. Now, what's important to understand is, is that you'll need to obviously be working within college. If, you if you're not going to English or maths, I would use that time very wisely to come in, use the facilities, make sure you're using the computers, go down to the library, okay, so that you're making every, every moment of your time available that could be in college is in college, okay? Okay, Del, I think there's another one for you there. Okay, yeah, Harry asks, will I need experience in filmmaking? prior to the university level course it's a good question and it ties in with the other question andy asked before which i failed to answer which was about work experience so if we just answer both of those at the same time um, on the course we do offer work experience um, in the first year students get the opportunity to find their own client 
and they make a promo film for them to advertise their company. Uh, quite a few of those films have been used by the clients um, professionally, which is great, and students have been asked to do more work outside. Uh, and in the third year, uh, BA, the BA top-up, there's also um, a work experience unit there as well, which is just as it says, you find yourself a client and you do some work experience for them. And again, you have to find that client yourself, but if you can't, for whatever reason, uh, we do have contacts and we can help you out with that. Um, in terms, sorry, Harry, in terms of what experience do you need, um, it's desirable that you've got some experience. If you know your way around a camera, if you've maybe um, made a couple of short films yourself, uh, or if, you know, even if you're just really, really interested in film and TV, you know, you've got like an active interest in it, you really like it, you like to discuss it. Sometimes, you know, that's enough. Um, the, the, the honest answer is, though, if you haven't got any experience in it, don't worry, we can start you off from scratch. Um, you know, we have uh, sessions at the start of the course where we show you how to use a camera, how to use the lighting, how to use the sound. Um, and, you know, most of our students with no prior experience, they, um, they, they, they pick it up pretty quick, actually. So the answer is, it's desirable if you've got a little bit of experience, but it's not essential. Okay, hope that answers your question. Alison. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's about wrapped it up now. So what we want to do is thank you, Del and I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And don't forget that we're still open for applications for September. If you have any further questions, please, please, please contact us. And we're looking forward to seeing you very, very soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.